All right, this is the Daily Encouragement Devotional for Wednesday, February 5th, 2020. The verse comes from Matthew 4, verse 7, New King James. And Jesus said to him, It is written again, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. Written on our hearts is the title of today's devotional. Our Lord is addressing Satan in the hour of temptation. The weapon he uses is the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Three times it flashes in the Savior's hands. It is written, it is written, it is written. Verses 4, 7, and 10. We need to have the Word of God in our hearts, as well as our Bibles in our hands, when we meet the devil. Incidentally, there is also a place for having the Holy Book in our hands, a practice too often neglected these days. In the Internet age, when we quite literally carry a computer in our pocket, there is no excuse. The devil will sometimes misleadingly quote the scripture. He will command his angels concerning you, verse 5. There is no holy thing he will not endeavor to twist to his own advantage, and his followers are like him. They may use the scriptures, but they preach a different gospel. A distortion of the scriptures can result in destruction. It makes a lot of difference who quotes the scripture. Jesus answered him, It is also written. There is much significance in that also. We are to compare scripture with scripture, handling the word of truth correctly. Be diligent to present, present yourself approved to God, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 2 Timothy 2.15 In order to do this, we need and we can have the gracious aid of the Holy Spirit who inspired the Scriptures in the first place. Like a muscle that is strengthened with exercise, immersing ourselves daily in Scripture, staying connected to Jesus in prayer, and walking out our faith, we'll strengthen that faith, make it easier to respond when the Holy Spirit whispers a verse that we need to apply. Holy Father, we know and trust that you are watching over us every moment of every day. You have given your angels charge to be with us and protect us, Lord. Give us a thirst and a hunger for your word, to yearn to abide in your presence, to draw close to you, not just so the enemy will flee, but that we would know and enjoy the beauty of your holiness every moment of every day. By your Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, amen. And the links are there if you want to check it out. And there's also a link there for a good worship song, Phillips Craig and Dean, Friend of God. Kind of goes along with this. So check that out and click the like if you like. Tell a friend, leave a comment, question, prayer request. All right, take care. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless.